Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe. Look towards the future. 47. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry, they're not going anywhere. you down.
Any news on the new guard assigned a codename Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Yeah, hey. around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. Hmm. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's so huh. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Right there. Okay. That's Marcus right Stuyvesant. There. Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant Very little worm. He might not look like duty. much, but he's done more you damage to the world than you could dream. Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. <laughs> I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Okay. Walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. 
I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by... Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. Trust. I think I got the right man what now. to do with Thank all you that services. power? Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter with a Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. That was. You mind taking a look? Well, sir.
Come in command, how copy over? Someone is causing a public commotion. Negative command, got nothing so far. He's not here. What the hell happened here? Are you involved, sir? Huh? Huh? Reporting a possible crop. <laughs> hey, let go of that person. Oh, yeah. I don't want any trouble, mister. I'll just leave, okay? Hey! I need help! Please! Anyone? Hey! I think something bad is going on! So you do not have click- Oh! What the hell?! Are you nuts?! He's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Okay. Let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by... Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you are even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. It's just to hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt. You cocky idiot. That was a magnificent performance. I like you. I think we will get along just fine.
You've gained his trust. What to do with all that power? Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. Now let's get to work. Some things you should know. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? That's how it is. Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Hello, sir. Hold it, sir. I can't let you enter before I have a look in your pockets. Nothing to worry about. It's simple protocol, sir. You're good to go, sir. Thank you for your patience. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hi there, friend. and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. How Thank are you, sir? Hello, sir. Hmm.
Mr. Kazim. Pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's one I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Let the pros do that. Sure, we passed plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel.
How are you today, sir? Hi there. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Sir. So, do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Self-sufficient. The electricity, internet, even water is clean and renewed. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Honestly, you're overthinking it. I mean, some countries go out of their way to fund the arts, and you get some really unique results. Look at Canada. A lot of weird stuff comes out of Canada. It's not like either of us are in Mr. a position Kajim, to judge. Please, follow me. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible, because of all the smog. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Looking good, man. Looking good. Looking good. So good to see you. you have That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner yes. and brass Your ball billionaire. Is. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten Let's as get they down come. To the business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Excuse Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, remembered something. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Hi there. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards, a sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog 
that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard. Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Reaching. The second they're using the word caps on it.
Ugh, Jesus. How does this thing work? Gotham 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face... ...see that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.
she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here. And it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlyle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlyle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlyle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlyle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. Mister! You should not be sneaking around here. You might get hurt. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47.
A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. Come out now. Ta-da! Oh! This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. That's a bit excessive, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. I'm getting someone to deal with you. Someone stop this asshole. Why? Why are you doing
that it is Alexa Carlyle, oh. unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners and last one to be alive. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. <laughs>